right, here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30-0 now. He's chasing 30-0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's going to get in your face. He's going to try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula, in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov is looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend has Bula Magomedov in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. for this one. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA kind of like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, you can see. Well, that jab, one of the best weapons in his arsenal. There it is again. Why well, didn't take us long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. No, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside-out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from this position. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, he postures up again. Oh! Big ground and pound. He's got to be careful here. Is landing through the front of the Oh, another ground strike gets through. Oh, 
Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Metal. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Now he's in trouble. He's going to go to sleep. He needs to work. I'll stand this up. He's working. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> And just misses with that big right hand. He gets to the single collar time. Look at him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. <laughs> nice job by him defensively there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He's giving him so many different things right now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. He's going bad here. He gets in the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Final seconds here of round one. Look at the skip action that allows him to land that big knee. Second round, straight ahead. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Well, another big moment here for your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. Human being bare with this guy just doesn't seem to matter. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, nice takedown defense. Sean Strickland. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Real sneak body kick. Oh, massive left hand lands. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, and he defends another takedown here. I'm not sure when frustration sets in for the wrestler, but been uphill sledding this far. Well, he thought that he'd be able to secure these takedowns, and you can see him getting frustrated every single time this balanced fighter defends one. That's off to the balanced fighter. Though. He knew it was in front of him, and he prepared himself accordingly to defend these takedown coach. Strickland's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. That was a nice takedown, yes. Nurmagomedov's able to transition back to side control now. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Oh, it looks like he's got the sub locked in. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. And that will do it. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission and he squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch and it was amazing to 
be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 48 seconds of round number 2. For the winner by submission, and still! You heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by submission here tonight. This man is completely unstoppable, and he proved as much yet again tonight. Wow. He proved it again. You know, and as the career went longer, Khabib did a better job of finishing people. It was not only just take him down anymore. It was take him down and submit him. We have seen him do it to the best fighters in the world, and once again, he proves when you're on the ground with the eagle, you're in trouble. And the question now beckons, is there a 155-pound fighter out there that can beat Khabib Nurmagomedov? 